Oh, cool. I can't wait to try out this new mini game. Coronavirus mini game. I wonder what that's about. Let's wait and see what this thing up top says. Be infected. Infected with what? I've been infected. What? Avoid contact with them or surely die. Oh no. I just touched him. Why am I dying? Why am I dying? Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so stupid. Okay. Hey guys, this is Rye Guy Gaming here today. Please excuse me for my super stupid cold open. Um, <laughs> anyways, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a coronavirus script. Please, nobody take offense to this. This is just for the memes, you know, just for fun. Basically, what I mean by that is we're just going to make a script that slowly kills you, and if you touch anyone else they'll get it too and it will slowly kill them now I just showed you an example where it could be like a mini game you know you start off with one player being infected and then they just go around trying to infect everyone else and so that's one way you could do it you could just put it in every player as they start the game just however you want to do it. like for example see if I here's my coronavirus script if I put it in the starter character scripts and then I just, let me disable the mini game thing. And then I just push play. You can see that my character, oh yeah, there we go. That was weird why it took so long. They'll slowly start to die. Like I said, there's a, there's a lot of things you could do with this. Maybe you could have like an enemy. If you're doing like a role play, like a RPG, like a MMORPG, not like the whatever the heck Roblox kids think RPGs are. But anyways, so here's the script. Basically what we do is we just get the character, we get the parts of the character, and then we, for every part, just set up a touch detection. And if it's touched, we just copy the script over to the other player and it just prints in the output that they've been infected. Just to go into a little bit more detail now. So basically what we're doing here is we're setting up a for loop here, as you can see. So for part in pairs parts, because of course the parts is the children of the character. Um, that will include everything within the character, including like maybe they have a hat or whatever their scripts and everything so that's why we have this next line we want to make sure we're only affecting things that have the class name of part which is a any part basically so that would be like their arm their leg their head their torso blah 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 and then we are setting up a touched event so that's one of the cool things about Roblox Lua is that you can set up a touched event for multiple things at once and have them do the same thing. So here we're basically making every the arm, leg, torso, head, whatever other parts there are of the player, we're making them all do the exact same thing when they're touched. So basically what we're doing is we're making sure what the player has touched, the other thing has a humanoid only other players would have humanoids so that's what we're checking for and then we say um if not other part dot parent find first child coronavirus so we're looking for the coronavirus in the other player so that we don't infect them like a billion times and then we just copy the script and then we just place it over into the other character and then we just print out to the console that they've been infected. This is just for debugging purposes, you don't really need this. And then this is the part that actually gives them damage. So it just looks for the character's humanoid, makes them take one damage every one second. You can change that. So here's how much damage they take. This one right here, oops. So just change that for how much damage you want them to take. Here's how often they take damage. And it also removes their healing script so they can't heal. Because if you have this too low, they can just heal it off. Like for example, I found one damage at one second. It just keeps them at 99 health and they never die. I'm not gonna be showing you the mini game script that I made, it's just a cheapo one. It took me like, what, like five minutes to write up. If you want to see a mini game tutorial, I have plenty on my channel. Some of them are better than others, and there are plenty of other ones on YouTube as well. But yeah, basically, I'm just going to be giving you this script. It's up to you for how you want to distribute it. Like I said, you could put it in like a model, you could 
have it given to players randomly, uh, just whatever you'd like, um, just for fun kind of thing. But anyways guys, I know that's a short tutorial, just wanted to uh, show you how to make a script that will slowly kill people over time, and that you can transfer by touching someone else. So I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to leave any tutorial suggestions down in the comments below. And also, if you need any help with anything, I'll also be answering any questions you may have down in the comments. But other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this video. So I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you all have a great day and goodbye.